All right, 2.1. Iman. Iman basically is a desire, okay? What do you want? Desire or want. Okay, what do you want to buy? What do I desire? Okay, shushu, all right? I want this, I want that. I want so many stuff, okay? Desire, demand. Are we good? Yes. Now, basic concept of the demand. Listen carefully. Yeah, from last year, lots of people still have have problem with demand, okay? So, i give you an example. Okay, you are going to learn two things. Law of demand, and then market demand. Two things, very easy. Does anyone need to copy this? Hmm. Law of demand and then market demand. Two point one. Two point zero. No. Two point one. Yeah. Can I take a look real quick? Uh oh. Let's topic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Lost. Okay. All right, now, listen carefully. So, in a real life, oh, again, um, so, we will have field trip. Oh, yeah. Right? Maybe in October, I will talk to press, okay? We will have field trip. We are going to uh, save and save, okay? To, or, or carry four, all right? I, it depends. Depends how much how much time we have and then observe observe price, okay? We should get to Walmart. Walmart. Alright. Listen up. Law of demand happens a lot. <laughs> happens a lot. Now think about it. So let me give you questions. Before we talk about the graph, let's talk let's think about the basic concept. So for example, if Let's say you want to buy this water bottle, this fancy water bottle. Wow. Yeah, fancy, man. <laughs> if a price goes up, if a price of this water bottle goes up, I don't know, like from, from $100 to $1,000. Oh. Yep. Travis. Unless, would you buy more? No. No. Yes. No. Okay. That means the quantity Quantity, that means how many? Yeah, <laughs> give me that, give me that. <laughs> no, Xu Shou Okay, how many the amount? Xu Shou mm -hmm. A M O U N T So the quantity of demand goes down. I want you to copy, uh, copy this first. The price, when the price goes up, the quantity of demand goes down. The quantity of demand goes down. I, want, I will buy less. I will buy less. Quantity is on. Amounts. Okay. How many? In the other words, you probably notice if the price goes down, okay, from $1,000. To one hundred dollar. Oh, would you buy more? That's like right. That's like right, man. <laughs> the quantity demand goes up. Very easy. So when the price is expensive, I will buy less. But when the price goes very low, very cheap, then I will buy more. So I want you to copy this. Price goes down, the quantity demand goes up. The amount. <laughs> Price goes down, the quantity demand goes up. Right? Easy concept. You might right? If a price if a price goes down, I will buy more. If a price goes up, I will buy less. 
the way it's used to be. Like for example, Linda's Cafe. If Linda's Cafe, their snack is like ten dollars, would you buy more? Boy, that's what? Yeah, we'll buy more. But what if you Linda's Cafe like the snack is five hundred dollars? Would you buy more? I would buy. No, you wouldn't buy. You you don't wouldn't buy, right? You will buy less. You will buy. Okay, <laughs> so this is the basic concept of law of demand. Remember, when a price goes up, I will buy less. When a price goes down, I will buy more. Linda Cafe. If a Linda Cafe is five hundred dollar, I will buy zero. If Linda's Cafe each one is ten dollar or five dollar or one dollar, I will buy more. Understand? Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about the graph. The graph. So copy this. Copy this. So we have a graph, all right? Up here is what we call the price. Down here, the x. This is what we call the quantity. Quantity of demand. My the shoe down. Okay, quantity of demand. Now. Basic concept. Again, when you say when a price goes up, then I will buy more or less. 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 Okay. So for example, if I have ten dollar, if this thing is ten dollar, for example, I will buy less, which means this is zero, like one, and then two, and then three. I will buy less, like nothing here. If a price is seven dollar. Oh, it goes down a little bit. One. Maybe buy one. I will buy one. Good. Okay, I will buy one. If a price is four dollar, huh? It's two. getting cheaper. Two. Let's get by, by two, man. By two, yeah. And then if the price is one dollar, wow. Well, three. We buy three, man. Let's go. So you probably notice the line, the slope. Goes down. It's like PPC. No. <laughs> no. 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 So, this is what it means. This is the reason why the line is always goes down. Again, very basic concept. When the price is very high, I will buy zero. Too expensive. When the price is seven, maybe buy one. When the price is four. Oh, maybe two. Oh, the price when the price is one, I will buy more. So this is called the law of demand. Law of demand. This is the 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 numbers here are just an example. The numbers here is just an example. Okay. But again, remember, this is what it looks like. Okay, always goes down. Always goes down. This is the reason why the line, the slope. It's always down, goes down, goes down. Never gonna be like that. No, doesn't make sense. No, if your price is expensive, would you buy more? No, you, you, I will buy less. There's no way I will buy more if the price is expensive. Okay, make sense? <laughs> yeah. Can we move on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's move on. Law of demand. <laughs> 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 oh, <man. laughs> when the price is up, the quantity of demand goes down. down. When the price is down, the quantity of demand is up. Good job, team. Make sense? We good? Good job, team. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right, video time. Are we good? All right, let's look at the video. Be quiet. Hey, hey. No, you be quiet. All right, hey, hey, hey. <laughs>
conversely, the higher the price, the lower the demand. If you were to graph this relationship with the quantity demanded on the x-axis and the price on the y-axis, the relationship between price and demand would be a downward sloping curve. Remember, always downward. The price is on your x, and then quantity of demand will be on the y. How many you are going to buy? Left to right. This line is referred to as a demand curve. Movement this is called demand curve. curve shows demand expanding or demand contracting. The people of Loneland are willing to pay $1,000 for a computer when there are 2,000 computers in the market. Mm -hmm. However, if the price falls to $500, all right, if a price goes down, I will buy more. This is an example of a change in the demand curve where price is the only variable affecting quantity demanded, or vice versa. In real life, things other than price can affect demand. Including income in the economy. Oh, we'll talk about that later. But are we good? Yes. Okay. Well, shouldn't this be not a straight line? It shouldn't be a decay. Ah, uh, yes. This is a theory. Okay. Good. 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 But you see, always. But oh, this always goes down. All right. <laughs> in the real life, that is a good point. Okay. In your real life. Okay. In your real life, sometimes it's hard to like maintain have a, like, a, like a straight line, okay? For real life, it looks like this. Nice. We have a price and a quantity, okay? In your real life, it always still goes down. When the price is here, I will buy less, okay? When the price is here, I will buy more, okay? So in, this is why in real life. But this is a theory, all right? This is a series, it always goes down. Now, listen carefully here. So again, when the price is 10, I will buy like maybe 50, but when the price is two, you see, I will buy more. So this is always looks like this. Mm -hmm. We good? Good. All right, I want you to copy this. Why does the demand curve slope? Why, how come this line is always goes down like this? Why this is, why the slope is always downward? Number one. Companies wait, wait. diminishing marginal utility. What's that? This is the first reason diminishing marginal utility. What's that? Oh, oh. Decrease of satisfaction. Decrease of satisfaction, and then and, and then what? More. Uh, if we. Absolutely. If we if we have more of the if we buy or if we consume more, more. okay good so one reason number one diminishing marginal utility the more of a good the consumer has the less the marginal utility right if I buy more 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 right or if I eat more 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 I won't I won't I won't want to want to have another one why well, first thing first is too expensive. Second, my satisfaction, my utility goes down. The quantity of demand. Quantity of demand. Quantity of demand. We good? Number two. Income effect. Oh. Okay. Number two. We good, Franz? Mm. Number two. Income effect. Easy concept. If you are rich, would you buy more? Yes. If you are not rich, then you would you'll buy more. less. Income effect. When the price of good falls, the consumer experience increase in purchase power. Okay, the income effect is quite basically mean. So you see, if I see, I don't know, maybe the car or iPhone, okay? If I see the price goes down very fast, okay? I, I will want to buy more. I want to buy more iPhone. This is called income effect. Let me say that one more time. If an iPhone goes down, like one solid dollar, you can get what, one iPhone 15, one iPhone 20. Then I will want to buy, my, my purchase power are going up. Purchase power. My my the okay? Mm -hmm. My purchase power, I would want to buy more iPhone. Oh purchasing power is my the okay? Uh no, no, no. 
Number three. Oh. But understand? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Number. Number three. Substitution effect. Substitution. T one. Okay. T seven. T one. Substitution effect. When the price of good increases, people will substitute less expensive goods. For example, Coke and Pepsi. Coke and Pepsi, man. Pepsi. All right. Question for you: If a Coke price goes up, do I, will will I buy more Pepsi? Maybe. Probably. Since they are similar, right? Yeah. Okay. Since, like, for example, this price goes to one hundred dollar per per bottle, then I will want since I like I like Coke. I will. I don't want to buy Coke anymore, so I will want to buy Pepsi. Okay. Uh-huh. Substitution. T one. T one. Okay. 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 For example, iPhone and Samsung. Damn, man. All right. If iPhone's price getting expensive, right? Then I will buy Samsung. Or or iPhone 15 or iPhone 14. If iPhone 15's price getting expensive, then I will buy iPhone 14. Right? Okay. Good. They must be similar. Okay. They must be a similar product. Okay, you cannot say oh iPhone and then Mac. No, 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 no. Must be similar product. Okay, substitution effect. When the price of good increases, people will substitute less expensive good. They must be similar product. Coke and Pepsi, iPhone 15, iPhone 14. Okay, understand? Yes. Question, question. So let's pick three. Let's pick three. Question, question. Questions? No. Make sense? Yeah, makes sense. Okay. All right. Law of demand. Okay, so. Oh, by the way. Listen carefully. When they say price goes up, the quantity of demand will go down. Okay. However, this is a tr- this is a this is a trap. Now, if I say, I want you to copy this down. If I say, the demand goes up. What does that mean? The demand goes up. It's not quantity of demand. Not 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 amounts. Price increase. No. Surprise so decrease. No. 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 No, 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 no. The demand goes up. The no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Continue. I mean, if the demand goes up, then the production goes up. That is supply. We will talk about supply on Wednesday, but that's not necessary. Okay. Close. Listen carefully. Very close. Very close. Good try, but I will give you a point. Good try, boss. Good try. Good try. All right, copy this. When the demand goes up, demand goes up. That means, that means. So this is demand, right? Yeah. When the demand goes up, it goes to right. Okay. okay, it goes to right. This is the price and the quantity of demand. It goes to right, which means if the demand goes down, that means what? It goes up from the curve. What? It goes, goes up, inside, goes in, inwards, move, shifts inwards. Okay. Left or right? Left. 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 Okay. So, price and then quantity of demand. So, if we have a demand. When a demand goes down, this is what you mean, goes to left. This is a big difference. When they say demand goes up, please, this is what it means. Has nothing to do with price. 
nothing to do with price. Nothing to do with price. Demand goes down, the curve goes to left. Nothing to do with price. Okay, right? My demand goes down. 我的需求量增减少，那跟 price 有什么差？ No. Right, I want to buy the shoes. You must want to buy shoes, right? You guys want to buy shoes, but however, 如果你不想买了 has has nothing has has that has has that to do with the、uh, price? No, no, no. 就只是你突然不想买了 right? 那为什么要？那是你的欲望 Demand is your desire. 所以往左移是因为 demand 下降。往左移 Yep, that's right. Okay. 这不是跟 price 没关系，对吗？ I don't want to buy. 我突然不想买 ，right? I don't want to buy anymore. But has nothing to do with demand. 呃，不一定 ，nothing to do with price, right? 我突然不想买 ，I don't want to buy anymore. Okay, for so many reasons, 不一定是 price 啊 ，has nothing to do with price. Has not necessarily to do with price. Copy, copy. Okay, that is not necessary. Not necessary. 就你只是突然不想买了 ，right？ 哦，等一下，那也，那也，那也，还没，那也。Are you good? Wait. Are you good? No. Can we move on? Did you want to? Yeah. Okay, no, I will. All right. Now, the other final vocabulary that you have to know, we call that market demand. Market demand. Now, easy. The for equation. Well, on the 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 things that we have to do, the market demand. I want you to know this. The market demand means the sum of x volume. Or horizontal volume. The sum of x volume or the horizontal volume. What does that mean? You will get it. What What is the sum? Of Market is all, all, all the things no. add together. Okay. So,、eh? no. What What is that? Which one? The sum of x. Sum of x volume. Horizontal. Or you can say horizontal volume. We will. I will give you example.、Oh, the sum of x value. So, so the sum of the quantity. 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 Good. The sum of quantity. Sum of quantity. The market demand. Don't. This is. This is too complicated. This is like a, um, official definition. But, the easy definition. The sum of x value. All the x value. All the quantities. That is the total. Sum is 所有 Total. Total. Okay. So in the real world, in the real world, the economists will look at the market demand. 就是总和的 Okay. The total market demand. Okay. Now. Okay. Move on. Okay. All right. So I give you an example. We good. So we have Mike, we have Robert, we have Joe's. Okay, and then this is this is the table. So one to six dollar, and then Mike will buy five, Robert will buy eight, and then Joe's will buy seven. Now, easy. If you are if they are asking you what is your market demand, you are going to add all the x volume. This is the x volume. All right. Which means you see, one dollar they will buy five, Robert will buy eight, Joe's will buy seven. Which means you are going to add all the numbers until all the numbers and then equal to the market demand. So five plus eight plus seven equal to twenty. Four plus six plus six equal to sixteen. So market quantity is their three together. The, 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 The layout. Not sure. It has nothing to do with price, guys. It has nothing to do with price. Don't add the price. Add the quantity. Not the layout. Don't add the layout. Good, 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 good. Okay. So, so market demand. You just add everything. Add their quantities together. 
to gain the market in market quantity. That's it. That's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward. Market quantity, market demand. You just add the quantity and the x. Some the length. Okay, and you just add the x. So do not add the price. Has nothing to do with price. You add the quantity. One dollar Mike can buy five. One dollar Rob will buy A, then for a market, you add all the quantities, you will get it. Okay? You will get a market quantity. That's it. That's, pretty, that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. Okay? Alright? This is a market, basically. Market is the total, the total, okay? So you are going to add all the quantities. You don't add the price, not the price. You add the quantities. All right, question time. We good? <coughs> too fast, too slow, we good? All right, you try. So you add, add, add. You add the quantities to have a market. That's it, okay? You don't need to cover this down, but you see, still the demand, because it goes down, it goes down, and then they add together, it becomes a market demand, okay? <laughs> All right, question. Good. Tell me, assume the X is a normal good. If a price, oh, you see, if a price goes up, what will happen? The demand goes down. Demand goes down. Uh huh, so, demand no. goes down. No. Price goes up. Quantity of demand. We all want to see. Demand goes down means what? It goes to left. Left. Okay, so when you say price goes up, the quantity of demand goes down. Huh? Quantity of demand goes down. I mean, like there's. What? No, no. No. Quantity of demand and demand are not same. Yeah. 对, quantity is length. Quantity of demand, 需求量. 一个是需求, 一个是需求量. Total difference. Okay? So which one, guys? Where is your quantity demand? Hurry up, hurry up. Hmm? No. B? D? No. C? No. No. Jeez, man. B. B. Yeah. Wow. I wasn't tired of a why. <laughs> the substitution income effect will both lead the less of a good being purchased. The less of being purchased. I will buy less. Quantity of demand. Quantity of demand. I will buy less. Okay? Again, quantity of demand is not equal to demand. Totally difference. Quantity of demand and length demand, desire, and then this is the amount. How many I want to buy? This one is just a desire. It's a right? Desire and then quantity. No, totally different, please. Next one. One reason consumers typically increase the quantity of goods they purchase when the price of goods decrease because decrease is the one. Again, when the price of a good decreases, again, nothing to do with demand. It has something to do with quantity of demand. Goes what? Down. What? Up. 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 <laughs> up. Right? Price goes down, I will go up, I will buy more. So, B. 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 So, buy the more. By the liang right? Price goes down, I will buy I will buy more. Right? Linda Cafe. If uh, if if their bread is one dollar, I will buy more. That's the liang quantity. That is quantity, not demand. Total difference. How about this one? Which of following combination of price and quantity lies the market demand curve? Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Which one is correct? I think it's B. <laughs> Which one is correct? 
Okay, when you say market, you see market demand, I saw the keyword, what's that? Total, total, total quantities. Total quantities. The answer is three dollar, why? Well, three dollar, three plus five plus, three plus five plus four plus two equal to? Fourteen. Eight. Twelve. Fourteen. Fourteen. Three plus five, eight. Eight plus four, twelve. Twelve, 12 plus two, fourteen. 14. So, three dollar, fourteen. This is correct. The rest are not correct, okay? So which one is true? Only this one. Okay? So far so good? Yeah. So far so good. Alright. So far so good? We good? Yeah. Alright, again, guys, please. When they say price goes up or price goes down, it has to do with quantity of demand. Okay? Quantity of demand what? When they price yeah. goes up, quantity of demand? Decrease, guys, and then goes down, increase, increase. and then demand 80. up. Which one, right or left? Right. right. Demand down, right or left? <laughs> left. left. Guys, please, totally different, totally different, okay? All right, SAT key. What, 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 what? <laughs> Come on, it's a tall one. <laughs> Alright, don't forget. Alright, today's question is Toma? We good? We good? We good? <laughs> <laughs>